That's right, we're out there on the back patio now. I've got Wendy and Kevin, and you two uh, were here last week painting some beautiful paintings, some oil yeah. paintings, and um, you're doing another one right now. You're going to be a part of the Beaver Creek Art Festival this weekend, which is 29th annual. It's a big one. Tell us about it. Um, it's a fabulous show in a wonderful village. We just absolutely love it. The shops, the people um, that come out and see it from all over the country, and the artists are from all over the country, and it's like our favorite show. Um, it's um, a beautiful location, and there's lots to see and lots to do, and uh, we've been doing it since, gosh, the 90s. I don't know, Prince, the very first one. That's like, right? I can't, it's scary. <laughs> it kind of is, isn't it, right? It is. So so you guys, as a group of artists, you guys travel around to different events. Do you see a lot of this, your same buddies at these events uh, all the time? Yeah, absolutely. It's actually a big family. I mean, uh, the, this show's put on by Howard Allen Events, and uh, a lot of the artists are from all four co corners of the country and Maui, I mean, and we all come together in the summers and we all go out in the woods and paint together or people are out <laughs> making their jewelry. People actually are creating while they're doing the tour yeah. and stuff, so it's kind of cool. It's like a musician riding on the bus, you know, I mean, you, it's, we're all, we have to make stuff because we go to a show and we sell it, so we go back on the woods and paint some more in you gotta, between. You yeah. got to keep going and, yeah. and that kind of, that really breaks down that barrier of people walking by and you guys are approachable and people come up to you and, and they can interrupt and say, excuse me now, how do you do that or where did you get your inspiration from? Yeah, I mean, that's the best thing and that's what um, Kevin and I love about the festivals. I mean, I've been doing shows since I was really young, since I was a kid, and you get to actually meet people, explain, educate, you know, let them know what they're seeing, whereas in like another situation, you aren't going to get the artist in person. Um, it's just a painting or a piece of sculpture. And when you actually meet the person and they can explain their techniques and, and their life experiences in creating, it's it's just the best thing ever. And even for artists, we meet and talk to yeah. shop with all these artists from all over. And it's, it's just a blast. <laughs> I bet it's a lot of fun. And I bet you also, you when you're intermingling with the other artists like you may have a technique that you want to share with somebody or somebody might come up and say hey Kevin I'm trying this now you should look at trying this for this particular type of a uh, whatever you guys I don't know what you call that kind of well, stuff yeah but, absolutely know? I mean that that's the whole thing uh, being around 100 other artists at a show you see every technique ever invented by mankind stuff that goes back 600 years glass blowing and and bronzes that are done with the uh, lost wax technique which is ancient you know and and I mean, you fantasize about being able to do all this stuff and you kind of have your own thing, but you're always like, oh, I wish I could do that too. Right. And you know, we have a huge barn on our farm. We're in Wisconsin. We have massive buildings and lots of space. And we're, we're always like, we need to bring all these artists in and we need to like, you know, make a sculpture studio in the barn. And yeah, we'll have a glass blowing thing in this building. And we actually, uh, we, we love art and we want to surround ourselves with it. And you know, that's what we see when people come to the shows. They, they just, their eyes light up and they, the magic is there. They, they all really want to be artists. They all have a little creative bug in the back of their brain that makes them want to make something, you know, and they, they kind of live vicariously through the creative process. And that's the cool thing about being one-on-one -on -one with the artist. You're, you're not just buying a piece of art to hang on your wall anonymously. You're getting a story to tell. You're, you know, you get the long history of the artist, the, the struggles that they've gone through maybe, and, and the, the, you know, yeah. conquests they've made. And that, that's really exciting a lot. I mean, we do the gallery thing and we love it, but it, the art festivals take art off the pedestal and kind of hand it right to the people, you know? I, you got it. You're passionate about this, you guys. This is great. It's been, you've been coming here since the 90s, and uh, everybody's going to start arriving today, getting set up. The show is tomorrow and Sunday up in Beaver Creek, right around the ice rink, right in the middle of the Beaver Creek Village from 10 to 5. Uh, the website's artfestival.com, correct? Absolutely, yeah. Howard Allen Events, and like I said, he brings the best artists in from all over the country, so you'll see some of the top-notch artists. This is not a bunch of, you know, fly-by-night artists. These guys have spent... 20, 30 years, and women as well, honing their crafts. There will be some newbies, there'll yeah, be some new sure. artists too, and up and comers, and that's exciting. Oh, it's always exciting to see new art, so. All right, <laughs> Kevin, thank you. So we'll look forward to seeing you in Beaver Creek this weekend. Wendy, thank you. Yep. We'll see you in Beaver Creek this weekend thank also. You. We're gonna be uh, taking a quick commercial break, and then we're coming back, and I'm gonna give you the, uh, it's usually an adventure report, but since there's gonna be some rain this weekend, it might be an indoor adventure report. We'll be right back.